Hey what's going on guys, Evan from Model 3D and welcome back to episode 8 of 3D Friday. So if you're not quite sure what 3D Friday is, it basically consists of me jumping over to uh, Thingiverse or a website where I can download free 3D printable files, uh, downloading one, whacking on my one house duplicator i3, uh, printing it and showing you guys what I printed. So this week I watched Batman vs Superman. It wasn't really that great of a film but the new mask or the new helmet that Batman wears is awesome. So I went on to Thingiverse, had a look if there was a file and there was. Some guys uh, modelled it directly from uh, screen used images on the actual film and it is amazing. So this is it and instead of just being a normal kind of print I decided to print it and give it a paint so I'm going to show you how I did that. So first up after getting the file I put it through my slicer, I put it onto my one head duplicator i3. I printed it um, with the Signal Orange XL Fill PLA by Voltivo. Um, it's a, like I said before, this is a really nice filament, um, really great for kind of print, getting, getting perfect kind of prints. I printed it at uh, 20 millimeters a second just to get those layer heights perfect, really nicely aligned and nice and smooth. Uh, 0.1 mil layer heights. Um, I printed it at about a 25% infill just to give it that strength around the corners. And I obviously printed it on um, a raft and with support due to all the overhangs. Um, unfortunately Kira didn't kind of notice some of the overhangs on the eyes so they didn't have support but it still printed out pretty good. Um, as you can see here I then took it off my print bed, cleaned it up a bit, removed the support and basically got to work on it. I used uh, 600 grit uh, wet and dry sandpaper as you can see here. Um, make sure it's the wet and dry one otherwise you'll just fall the pieces. A little bit of water and just go to town on it. So I'm just buffing away um, didn't have to go too crazy with it because um, I'm going to be doing a technique later on just to fill in those lines. But this helps just to kind of polish out the main parts, clean up any little kind of like problem areas from the print. And yeah, worked really well. Make sure to dry it off really, really well because we're going to be using uh, filler primer. This is um, just a basically a nice yellow spray paint filler primer used for cars. So I just did a few coats, um, nice kind of light dusting coats rather than heavy thick coats that won't dry. So I did about two or three coats and it worked out really, really nice, filled it all, um, covered it all really well, as you can see. So once that's completely dry then, I used a heat gun to dry it a bit quicker, uh, let it cool down and it was lovely. Make sure you don't use the heat gun too close. Uh, I added a few dents and scratches like you would see in this um, screen used actual prop. I used a, just a little X-Acto knife for this. Um, next up is my airbrush and primer. I used my um, Vallejo airbrush paints. A uh, nice gloss black primer for this because I'm going to be putting a metal paint on top. So a few coats of that as well just to get a nice kind of finish, nice big gloss black as you can see. And then after this we use the uh, Owlclad 2 metal lacquer paint. I've shown this in videos before, I painted the Nuctopus with this. So it's one of my favourite paints, it stinks to high hell. Um, it's a really really good paint so if you've got enough ventilation and you've got a mask, highly suggest it. So make sure to shake this really well, it's like water so we go it paints really really good from the airbrush. And just a few coats of that, I try to do it a bit kind of wonky not to completely covering it just to get the little blacker areas in some parts and a bit more silver in others. I used a pipette to get it in my airbrush because it, like I said, it's like water so it's really hard to actually pull. Uh, one thing I did forget was to do the underside of this, I spray painted it but I forgot to do the metal on the underside of the lip and stuff, so I'm going to have to touch that up. Uh, next up, I used uh, matte acrylic varnish. This is um, Montana Gold. And just give it a nice kind of one or two coats just to take that like really nice new metal shine down. So a few coats of that and it give it a nice kind of shiny but still matte look, which was cool. And then lastly, it was up for a bit of weathering. So for this, I used the um, Vallejo Model A. Um, silver paint. As you can see it's just an acrylic paint. I, You can use any acrylic paint but this is why I have to hand. I love Vallejo um, airbrush paints so this is why I had to hand and it, was, it worked great. Use a nice kind of hard brush and just go to town on it. All the little um, edges I dry brush them. If you don't know what dry brushing is you basically um, paint off all the paint that's actually on your brush so there's really really nothing on it basically and then just scuff the edges and it works really well. So as you can see you can barely see the lines if if at all and it turned out really really cool I'm happy with it it's not often they actually get time to paint up my prints and 
do something with them. So yeah, this turned out really, really cool. So if you liked the video, please make sure to click the thumbs up button. Um, leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought of it. Maybe um, you've tried these techniques out for yourself or you plan to. Maybe I mean, leave me a link or maybe a response video. I'd love to see how you do. Um, click the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. I've got lots of videos coming up. I've got the One How Duplicator i3 review, which is almost done. Um, you spend a lot of time, lots of prints from it, just to make sure it's a really good review. So hopefully you look forward to that. And I love this little Batman mask. I collect one thick figures, so I'm hoping that this will be just about the right size to fit on a one thick body. So I might have to commission someone to do a nice little sculpt head to go inside this and a little neck peg just to fit on a one six body, but that'll look really cool. So yeah, so I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next video.